we're going to learn the first three remedies that are we often call the ABC remedies because they are the, usually the first three that we teach in homeopathy. And so at this point you can get your note cards or your notebook or whatever you're gonna take notes in if you're writing in your, your book or whatever. So the first remedy, um, A, is aconite, aconitum napellus. And aconitum napellus, um, what I'm gonna do here is give you keynotes for each of these remedies. The purpose for writing down keynotes is to study them and learn them because when you know the keynotes of a remedy, then you can quickly recall and you can actually start to see remedies in a situation or on a person rather than have, at first you're gonna have to run to your notes, but also putting these keynotes in your notes is gonna help you find them quickly. But eventually you won't have to look at your notes and you'll just see these different remedies. So we often say aconite for short, for aconitum napellus. And the keynotes of aconite are first, fast, fear, fright, fever, frozen, and flu. What do each of those mean? First is, it means it's, the, it's a great first remedy to give in an illness or, um, or a, a shocking situation. It's a great first go-to, a first remedy to give. Fast means that it's a fast onset. You're, this condition was a sudden thing. One minute you were fine, the next minute you weren't. Fear is obviously self-explanatory, so if you're in a fearful situation, and um, you, or you've just had a fright, so you you witness something very terrible, or you're in an accident, or you know something fearful, frightful happened. Then you know, and it really shook you, like Tess was saying earlier that that she said the words it shook her, right? Yeah, I mean that was scary. That was a scary thing to to happen, and so that's why she took aconite because it it was a shocking situation. Fever is self-explanatory. It's a great remedy for fever. And then frozen can mean two different things. So you can be frozen with fear. I've seen that before. A person actually literally freeze because they are so afraid. Um, or you got really cold outside, freezing cold outside, and then you came in, or later that day, you came down with a, a fever or a flu or um, an earache, a sore throat, whatever. It's the etiology was getting really cold. So it can happen on a really cold, windy day. Let me tell you a quick aconite story that can help you remember aconite. So let's say you, um, your children or two children are outside playing, two or three children outside playing. It's a nice warm day, but it's fall. And so fall time, you know, in the year. And so at the, as the temperature starts to drop, it gets really cold and windy and the children don't come in to get a coat. They just keep on playing, right? And then when they come in, one of them suddenly is laying on the couch, writhing in pain, saying her ear hurts. She's got a fever. This was a sudden onset. She had been in the cold wind. She got really cold outside. That is That would call for aconite. 